Thank you, Mr. Taufik Manbudi. So, um, what is your plan and uh, your contribution in halal industry? Uh, yeah, we are actually involved. That's the reason of my presence here. We uh, just uh, founded a few months ago a certification body in Luxembourg mm -hmm. uh, as a um, European uh, Halal uh, Council to uh, check and control uh, all halal food in uh, not only in Luxembourg but uh, wherever in Europe where we can uh, serve and can uh, help. Mm -hmm. And uh, we decided to be fully mm -hmm. Jaquim mm -hmm. for several reasons. First of all, for the experience of halal in this country. Mm -hmm. Second reason is also to say thank you to Malaysia and to the Malaysian government that started more than 30 years ago this halal uh, uh, important action because you succeed in your country and I have deep respect for that to transform halal not only from eating mm -hmm. but for, for halal become uh, also an ethic mm -hmm. and for not only for Muslim you uh, practice the uh, the uh, Quran verses mm -hmm. ya ayuhan nas mm -hmm. not uh, oh muslim not oh believer it's mm -hmm. oh people yes. and you understood that very well mm -hmm. and you are addressing the entire world that halal is good for everybody and you also in malaysia you focus in something else that most of muslim forget it's not only halal it's halal and tayyiban or most of Muslims forget Tayyiban and only focus on halal. Is it slaughtered correctly or not? There is wine, no wine, and they stop there. Mm -hmm. No, halal it's Tayyiban. It means like uh, organic, it means hygiene, it means cleanliness, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And you are the one who pointed this. Mm -hmm. And for this, all Muslim and even all globally, mm -hmm. we have to thank Malaysia for that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I came here to learn mm -hmm. and to spread what I will learn here to my region and to country uh, like Luxembourg. Okay. What are your expectations um, from uh, having this relationship in this part of the world? Uh, Exchanging. We need to uh, your experience to uh, help us installing the halal mm -hmm. concept, not only products mm -hmm. concept, deeply in the mind of the European populations. Mm -hmm. uh, up to now, if I take an example like France, uh, French people is still um, rejecting the concept of halal because they focusing only in religious uh, fact mm -hmm. and they think oh Muslims are a minority and they want to impose to us their way of life no it's not a way of life it's for not only for Muslim it's for everybody and for this we need the assistance of HDC Jaquim all these structures that you uh, built in your country to help us also through TV programs, maybe through cartoon, through anything that you can give to us or we can do together, mm -hmm. we can also bring to you things that you don't know about the culture in Europe or how people react mm -hmm. to, uh, in order for you to adapt your strategy and your communication, then we have a lot to do together. Yeah. Yes. Okay, before you were in uh, this industry, in Mecca Cola, where were you? I still mm -hmm. in Mecca Cola. <laughs> but uh, as I am a man hyperactive, mm -hmm. I can do a lot of things. I'm also a media man. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mecca Cola is running its way. Mm -hmm. I control, but people working. Mm -hmm. And they cannot stay without doing anything. And I decided to get involved in this halal mm -hmm. for our kids in Europe, for our new, for coming generations. Yeah. I think for a Muslim, it's a real duty to do that. Mm -hmm. You have also set up a, a European uh, Council for yeah. Halal? Yes, it's a uh, European Supreme Halal Council. European. It's uh, based in Luxembourg for one reason, because uh, Luxembourg is a capital of Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it's the uh, all commissions of uh, European Union is in Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't want to focus on Luxembourg. It's a very small country. It's maybe one province yeah. of uh, Malaysia, but we took it as a symbol and also as a base to spread to the rest of European countries. Mm -hmm. Because our purpose is not to be only a certification body. This is only a small part of uh, our goals. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to succeed explaining what is halal, why going to halal, 
and how and why halal is important for everyone. Okay, um, what is the background of your uh, studies or profession? No. Are you a, a scientist or you're? <laughs> I'm a lawyer. Oh, okay. yes, uh -huh. I'm PhD in law, uh -huh. and I was lawyer for, uh, at the beginning of my life. And then I decided to, to open this media activity since 1987. And uh, also I worked as, a, um, how to say, economic advisor to several companies uh, in link with Muslim countries, mm -hmm. opening the, the link to these European country, uh, countries and companies with Muslim countries. Mm -hmm being a bridge, mm -hmm. uh, taking advantage from the fact that I can speak English, French uh, fluently, it's like my mother tongue, mm -hmm. and Arabs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I was specialized in this uh, field. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also uh, uh, tell me why you go to this halal field, mm -hmm. what is your background? Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, I have the chance. I have got a father and he's still alive, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Uh, he uh, is one of the rare uh, Zaytuna Masjid uh, teachers still alive. He's 93. Mm. And he teaches me a lot. I also uh, followed uh, several courses in Medina Munawwara for more than six months. And I follow personally, uh, like a self made man in this, a lot of studies about different madhabs. And I built myself in this knowledge. And as you know, we have the duty as Muslim, if you know something, to transmit and mm -hmm. to transfer this knowledge mm -hmm. and to make it useful. Mm -hmm. So did you always envision yourself to be this big, this huge and this successful? I think uh, you are, this is your first mistake in this interview because I'm not big, I'm not a huge, I'm a very humble, very simple. <laughs> I try to give my contribution to the Ummah from my uh, small level. Mm -hmm. And uh, inshallah, I hope I'm succeeding doing that. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I never thought. Uh, I, yes, I am ambitious. Mm -hmm. When I left Tunisia, I was 20 years old. I was full of dreams and full of uh, ambition. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, I succeed in some. Mm -hmm. I uh, fail in other. Mm -hmm. But uh, globally, I thank Allah for what he gave me. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, this is guidance from Allah more than being smartness or intelligence or I don't know what, mm -hmm. but it's, I think it's uh, a gift from Allah. So throughout this journey, is there any um, most memorable uh, experience that you want to share with us? Uh, Funniest or <laughs> Yeah, a lot, but it's very difficult to, when you ask like this. To, uh, yes, I lived a lot. I think the most uh, important thing I achieved in my life is uh, two things. The support of uh, the Palestinian uh, cause in France. I had a radio station and this radio was shut down for two reasons. First reason because the radio was supporting unconditionally the cause of Palestine. And the second reason we were fighting for freedom uh, all over the world, not only in uh, Arab world, uh, Make, um, radio Mediterranean, the radio I founded and I was running, uh, was the main radio for all oppositions fighting for their uh, human rights, like uh, such as in Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, no, but not only. Also, for instance, in Rwanda, in uh, Burundi, in Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. in Cameroon. Uh, and I started since when I was a very young student supporting uh, the uh, national uh, movement for liberation in South Africa. And I was with the um, Dulce September that was killed in Paris by his secret service. Mm. And uh, with Oliver Tambo, the president of Mandela mm. uh, movement, I was supporting this against apartheid. Uh, you see, they are not Muslim, they are not Arab, but it's not the reason. For yes. me, the reason is to go to help people getting mm. their dignity mm. and their freedom. Mm. This is, I think, what really, for me, is the most important thing. Uh, what is uh, sad for me, uh, from my little experience in Paris, that uh, as Muslim in France and in Europe, we could have achieved a lot of things. But unfortunately, we are divided. 
we are not united, mm -hmm. uh, we are selfish, mm -hmm. we have a lot of default that we have to repair. Mm -hmm. And I uh, tried to do something, but I did not succeed. Mm -hmm. And this will remain like uh, a sad point, a black point in my career. Uh, through the radio, I fight it for 27 years, but unfortunately, all these things still exist. Mm -hmm. And we're still talking, oh, you are Algerian, you are Tunisian, you are this, you are that. Mm -hmm. No. We are French Muslim and we have to be united. We are European Muslim and we have to get conscious of that. Mm -hmm. so can you share with us any funny moments? Yeah. Uh, I just remember one funny story. I was a young student and uh, as uh, like all students, I was very poor mm -hmm. and especially immigrant student. Uh, and I had no food and I was very hungry and uh, no money to buy. I got an idea. In Paris, you have a lot of pigeons, you know? And I prepare uh, with a cartoon box, a trap, and I catch it one uh, pigeon, and I tried to cook it, but mm -hmm. it was always very hard. <laughs> and the meat, I cannot even uh, bite, you know? And it took seven hours till I have no more gas for cooking. And then I tried to eat, but it's still not eatable. And I slept without eating after keeping all night trying to cook. And finally, I eat without food and I <laughs> remain hungry. Uh, this I cannot forget. It was really very funny and uh, a lot, you know. But this is what makes an immigrant who wants to succeed. Uh, the main uh, thing is you have to have a good will. Mm -hmm. Because when you have a real will, you have a solution always. Mm -hmm. When there is a will, there is a way. This is my uh, late motive. Mm -hmm. And uh, how was your childhood like? Very happy. I was, uh, I rise in a big family. Mm -hmm. We are nine, uh, five uh, sisters and uh, four uh, brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, very conservative family, mm -hmm. very loving family, alhamdulillah. My father was not only my father, he was my teacher mm -hmm. at school. He was a school teacher. And I was in the classroom with my father. I had, it, I had him at home, mm -hmm. but I had him at school also. It was very difficult because you have your father controlling you 24 hours. Mm -hmm. But it was nice. I, I really uh, got a very happy childhood. And, mm. Mm. How do you describe yourself uh, as a hip person? Are you a very um, funny person or very... This you have to ask <laughs> people around me. Uh, <laughs> but I can tell you that my assistant is from Philippines. Uh, she always say you are cool and uh, finally when she left the company she said sir can I call you something I said yes she said you are joker <laughs> I said why she said we are always laughing but we do our work very with happiness I think the best thing uh, is to be very close to people mm -hmm. to be normal natural as you are mm -hmm. don't try to pretend mm -hmm. this is one thing very important to people who start a business or do something mm -hmm. be natural be yourself and can you share with us any habit that you like to practice, um, your maybe routine, daily routine that uh, people don't know? Uh, honestly, I'm against routine. Okay. I'm always trying to find something new. I uh, have always new ideas. I cannot stay somewhere uh, for a long time. Uh, I will make you laugh when I stay more than two weeks in my office or somewhere, I have no trip planned, I take my car, I drive for three, four hundred kilometers mm -hmm. and come back because I need to move. Mm -hmm. This is my nature. I'm always in move. And there is a French proverb that says that I'm eating life from the both sides mm -hmm. uh, and in a very fast uh, manner. I mean, I'm always over hundred kilometers per hour. Mm -hmm. I'm hyperactive. Okay, it's very interesting. I would love to um, have this session longer, but Thank I think, you. I'm sorry, uh, we have to uh, short, shorten this uh, session. Thank you for your so Thank you very much.